Hi, Blue Group. Miss Carson's here with a little review for you guys because I have a challenge for you all. So what I'm going to be asking you to do this week is you are going to have somebody in your family, your mom, your dad, or somebody that can help you set a timer. Now, you are going to have five minutes to complete this challenge, so it's not a very long challenge. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to look at the list that Miss Carson has put in your folder of some sight words. Now, when the timer starts, you are going to use your piece of paper and you are going to see how many of those sight words you can write in five minutes. But this is not a challenge to see how fast you can write because if you don't get all of the words done, that's okay. I'm just trying to see how nice and neat your handwriting looks if you're using your lowercase letters like we've been practicing and to make sure that all of the words are staying within the lines. Now, I have a board here so you guys can see what I'm talking about and you recognize these from what, we, what we've been working with in our classroom. So remember, the red line represents the top of the line. Your letters should not be any taller than that red line up there. And if you're using those lowercase letters, then they definitely shouldn't go that high. Remember, our uppercase letters are the big, tall letters, and our lowercase letters are the short, small letters. And for most of this challenge, you are going to be using those lowercase letters. Remember, we only use uppercase when we're writing names or the first letter of the first word in a sentence. So your letters should not go above the red line. And this line right down here at the bottom is the bottom of your line. Your letters need to sit on that. So they need to stay straight within those two lines. It's like when you're, when you're riding in the car with your mom or dad and they're staying in those lanes. This is the lane that your words need to stay in. Now I'm gonna write on my board and show you one more thing that we worked a lot on, especially when you guys were writing your own stories and that's leaving a space between your words. Now, it's up to you. You can write them as a list with one word on each line or you can try to fill up the whole line. But if you choose to fill up the entire line, your words shouldn't be squished together. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say I'm writing the sight word, the. So I start all the way over on the left side of my paper. Remember, we start at the left and move to the right. So I have one word. So now I'm going to put my finger on the board and I'm going to leave a space so my two words don't touch and it doesn't look like one big long word squished together. So I'm going to write another sight word. I'm going to use the word said, but I'm going to make my finger space on here so they don't touch. Here we go. There's the word said. And I left a little bit more than a finger space because I wanted you to know that these are two completely different words. I'll do one more for you. So I've got the, got my finger space, said, I'm gonna leave a finger space and then I'm gonna try the word why. See how each of those words are separate from each other. Now, if you choose to fill in the line, remember once you get to the end of the line, I don't want you to squish your letters all together here. If you don't have enough room, we always go to the next line below. Remember, you've heard Miss Carson say this a lot. We talk about this almost every day in writing time. You go to the next line down and you start all the way over at the left side. Now, I hope you notice that I didn't rush and write those words as quickly as I can because again, this is not about how quickly you can write. I want to see that you are taking your time, you're concentrating, and you're really thinking about what those letters should look like and how they should be on your page. Once again, you're going to be working on your sight words, however many you can get done in five minutes. That's all. That's not a very long challenge, but it's a perfect amount of time for you guys to show me what you have been working on. Since we can't all be together in the classroom right now, I want you to show me what you've been working on at home and that you're remembering all of these skills that we've been practicing. I know you guys are going to do a great job and I can't wait to see your work.